on the theme of air force ones we have news again courtesy of over under regarding kid cuddy acquiring three pairs not one not two but three pairs of the louis vuitton and nike air force ones monograms which allegedly are limited to 200 pairs and the majority of them have already been sold i think via Sotheby's or no Sotheby's or directly to customers that were offered them and some sold for over a hundred grand right? the highest pair sold for 352 and the lowest for 75 600 so i'm assuming that was probably a size 9 to 12 and this was probably a size 8 under i'm assuming right but they look so so good in it those are all free shoes um, that Kid Cudi bought in that classic monogram colorway too so I think that's awesome um, great way to honor your friend great way to honor such an incredible um, piece of art as well because you, let's be let's be for real we're probably never going to see something like this ever again right taking an Air Force One and an Louis, and Louis Vuitton monogram print and kind of basically putting it on that shoe together, knowing the history of an Air Force One, knowing the history of, you know, um, people from the hood basically cutting up leather bags and, and trousers and trench and basically placing that fabric on the swoosh to lux up such a kind of basic trainer and take it to a luxury fashion sort of place. We're never going to see this link up again. So Virgil's Legacy has definitely been cemented in that so to have three pairs of these in that classic colorway is absolutely phenomenal and this is a caption courtesy of i guess kid cuddy's instagram it says acquired three pairs at louis vuitton at hashtag virgil Ablo, hashtag virgil forever always repping my brother still rocking the bags the clothes all that all for uv we love you absolutely incredible isn't it imagine being able to cop three of these all at once but that's the thing about them as well even if you were going to be on a resale thing this is a, easily a bargain. You cop these for 100 grand, you're definitely seeing, they're, they're never gonna depreciate in value. That's basically what you can guarantee. So if you do want something that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna go up in value similar to like gold, there's nothing better than buying sneakers like this, which is crazy to think nowadays, right? I wonder if there's a, there, there is in it. I wonder what the million dollar sneaker is. What What is that one? That's actually worth a million dollars. I wonder what that is. I'd imagine it's a Jordan or maybe it's one of the first ever Nikes or something. It might be the million dollar shoe, one of those track shoes or something, I'd imagine. Um, but yeah, these look absolutely incredible, man. But big up Kid Cudi for honoring Virgil's legacy. That is pretty sick, mate. So congrats to him.